is going on, everybody out there at YouTube lands? Welcome to another video here on REC TCG. And as of this video, we are one week away from the release of Evolving Skies. Which, hey, um, looks like a great set. I am a little disappointed that there's a few cards cut from it. But, overall, the Turn of Dragon types, the Evolutions, there's going to be some pretty exciting chase cards in the set. But until then, since I haven't been able to get my hands on any pre-release stuff, I've been lucky to find older one stuff from the Sword Shield era and even from another era that predates Sun Moon, obviously, the X and Y era. So as of late, Family Dollar Dollar Journal have been pretty lucky for me. Been lucky to find plenty of Sword Shield packs both at Family Dollar and Dollar General. These ones I bought at Family Dollar just for because that's all my Family Dollar had left at the time. I just I bought these. Um. I already bought 10 before on another video, so I was like, yeah, I'll pick up four more. And then they have plenty of these from the X and Y era, Steam Siege, yeah, a set that nobody really cares for, unfortunately, other than a few people like myself who are like, you know what, I'll open anything at this point. Because, hey, uh, for one, still popular as ever. Celebrations will be out pretty soon. And then we'll have one more set before the end of the year. But anytime I can find any sets, whether it be Sword Shield Base or Steam Siege, I'll open them. I don't care. It's, it's a content for the channel. Good or bad, I don't care. So we're going to do a little bit of a versus battle. Well, Steam Siege be bad as always, even though I've been lucky in live streams to pull good stuff. Or Sword Shield, which the last two videos, uh, both of them have delivered uh, awesome full art rainbow hits. Um, go back and watch both those videos. I'll put up cards for both of them, put up links in the description. But who knows, Steam Siege may surprise us. So guys, let's have a Clash of the Titans. Steam Siege versus Sword Shield Base and find out which will have a better hit, whether it be a hollow, reverse hollow, break card, EX, uh, V, VMAX, whatever I can pull. So guys, let's get into it. Alright, so I've already taken everything out of their blisters to save time. Got one of each pack art for Steam Siege, because that's, you know, I already knew that I would. You know, because I... That, Plenty of choices to pick out whatever I could, and then my family dollar. Yeah, Steve Siege finally has run its course. I don't think anybody cares about it. I think a lot of people who probably opened Steve Siege for the first time just realized, yeah, this is not a valuable set. And maybe the most valuable card in there is like 20 bucks, but that's all right for me as a collector. I don't care. I don't do this for money. I do it for fun. Meanwhile, Sword and Shield Base, I was so surprised. My family dollar had four of these left in stock. I was like, you know what? Why not? Now, all the sleeves were Zamazenta, and then, well, Two Lepers, one Stormlox, and one Zamazenta pack art. And hey, uh, if you saw my last video, the Dollar General one, now I just need to pull the four of this bad boy, or maybe the gold. But we will soon find out. So, you know what, Sword Shield, you're going to go last, because Steam Siege, maybe you might give me something, maybe you won't. Let's go a few first. And yeah, no, there was no codes for the Checkling Blisters. If you wanted the codes for the Lucario or Floet, once again, they still that weren't doing code yet at that time and all right so yeah it's a green code so probably don't expect anything too special in this pack but, but there could be a break card i know there's still a few of the breaks i need and three in the front i remember that i did four in the front in one video where i was like oh crap i had an inferno in the front but anyways there was a shieldion fletchinder do what drifloom ponyard c dot clink Mary, okay, so no break card, but first Hall of Nidorino, not bad, and a Cabalion or Cobalion, however you say it, not Hall Rare. All right, so once again, I don't expect they think too special in Steve Siege, but there's still some cards I'd like to pull, so we'll find out where or not I pull any of the other secret rares I still need, any hollows, break cards, and all right, so the code card, once again, I have to check where it's flipped at, it's flipped over, so. There's a code for you guys, and I don't know if the letters will mean anything with these. Um, if you guys watch my Sword Shield from Family Dollar pack code, I, mean, I had a little theory that the codes sometimes affect whether or not it's white and green or green and white, but maybe it just depends on the print of the cards, I don't know. Anyways, we've got a Claw Fossil Anurif and an Anurif. Cool. Have a Halucha, a Fungus, a Birdmite, a Joltic, got a Mantine, Clink, Reverse Hall Cobalion, okay, not bad. Oh, yeah! Mega Gardevoir EX 
Oh man, and it's a shiny, of course. Hey, Steam Siege, you might be redeeming yourself here. Now all I gotta pull is the full art, secret rare, uh, man. But hey, there we go. And as always, gotta grab the sleeves to keep the cards protected. But Steam Siege, you, you know what? You're not going down without a fight. Doesn't matter what's in the last two packs, you already pulled some fire right here. So there we go. And by the way, fairy types. Hopefully they'll make a comeback in the Sword and Shield era. Dragons are already come back in Evolve the Sky, so maybe in 2022. We'll see the turn of fairy. I mean, I at least hope so. I mean, no point of still putting fairy energy cards in elite trainer boxes if you're not going to have fairy type Pokemon, but eh, it's whatever. Alright, guys. Ah, oh, I looked at the code card. It's. They. Okay, so they were like this on the other. Well, I'm not going to complain. Whatever. It happens. Sometimes they're face up, sometimes they're face down, and the code was the start of a number, so that's alright. Once again, give me a break card in this pack. We'll find out. Oh, uh, Pokemon Company, you sure know how to throw me off when I'm trying to do my videos here. Like, seriously. Alright, so Fungus, Nidoran Male, Oshawott, Ponyard, Tangela, Reverse Hall Nidorino, and a Volcarona, not Hall Rare. So, last pack magic for Steam Siege, and then we're getting the Sword Shield base. And will the, will the card be face up, face down? And oddly enough, my fat daughter, not only they had plenty of these, but they had them on two separate pegs. One of the pegs they had on were for the Mega Bloks Pokemon fairs they were doing a while back, and okay, well, there we go. This code was face face up. So I don't know. Maybe if this was a second, a separate print of the packs, I don't know. But either way, that threw me off. All right, guys. So we got a new Reno, Special Charge, a Clang, Rufflet, Ponyta, Meowth, Whitlick. Hop it. All right, so no break card. You got Pokemon Ranger versus Hollow, and Tom Flane a horror, which I'm sure I do need this for the set. But no holographics and nothing else too special besides the Mega Guard of our EX. So hey, at least Steam Siege is, they they could win if I don't get anything in Sword Shield Base. That's better than a Hollow. So guys, let's see what this first pack of Sword Shield Base has. Like I said, man, that's a light, man. My sword shield looked pretty good with what I pulled in the last video. All right, so I was trying to see what the code place was. White and green, and code letter is different this time. Wow. So I guess the letters vary by what packs you get. Hmm, interesting. All right, so now for the front, and I saw some glisten on the border. Could it be something special? Could it be a rainbow? Could it be a full art? Because we got Cybertech Energy, Energy Switch, a Glare and Linoon. Galvantula, Wooloo, Clobopus, Skelruppy, Yamper, Goldeen, Reverse Hall, Sizzlepeed, Professor's Research, okay, not bad. I was hoping it was going to be the Marnie, which I already have Professor's Research full art, but hey, this is another one for any cards I might save for trades later on in the future or to sell. So, I'll take it. I mean, once again, it's a card I already pulled, and this... I mean, probably value-wise, I'll have to look up later to see which is more valuable between the Mega Guard of RTX and the Professor's Research, but Sword Shield Base already starting out with a hit. Man, that, that's awesome, though. I was kind of... Like I said, if it would have been Marnie, I would have been jumping for joy. Because that's the last trainer floor. I, well, that and Bead. And I guess Bead's not that popular, but... Hey, a hit's a hit. I don't really care. All right, guys. There's another code for you guys. I just flipped it over too. Um, might be something good. Because so I want to see how the code letters stack up here with with this stack packs. Ooh, Metal Energy. Awesome. Always love my metal. Rotom Bike. Galarian and Linone. A Great Ball. Score Bunny. Hoot Hoot. Skoruppy. Diglett. Glossifer. Reverse Holder. Oh, it's Reverse Rare. All right, a Rangaroo Holographic Rare. Not bad. I do need the Hall version. I have the version of it, so... I will take it, and I'm going to sleep it up for the heck of it. Hollows deserve the same treatment as, as you know, full arts. I mean, they're not as valuable as, as they should be, but, you know, hey, it's something. So, right here, I think I'm about to call this for Sword Shield Base, just based on what I've pulled already. But, will the hits continue? To this point, I think Sword Shield just, they said, nope, sorry, Steam Siege. Okay, so I'm 
I think this might not be a good pack, but we're going to see what I pull. Maybe I might be trolled. I don't know. Maybe we might get a reverse rare. That's good. Because at, at this point, it doesn't really matter. I I think Sword Shield's already won this, just with the full art alone. But, uh, yeah, just looking through to see. Maybe there's a nice, good, nice reverse haul of some kind. So, X and B, I guess, I don't know. This is like, when it comes to the reverse hauls you get with... Well, not, not, not the packs. Oh, wow, Roserade. Roserade seems to be pretty common when it comes to rares. <laughs> but, yeah, um... <laughs> Seems like the Family Dollar ones, the letters are always different versus what you get with Dollar General ones. But can we have Last Pack Magic? Either way, good opening. I think Sword Shield is running away with this, just with a haul and a full art. Oh, maybe. Oh, yep. There you go. There you go. I, had, I had to spoil it. I had to see. All right, but will there be something better than a haul? Either way, I think Sword Shield has got this in the bag. Just for the two hits alone I already got. So, guys, Psych Type Energy. Crushing Hammer, Theraform, Aurora Energy, Roselia, Muna, Vulpix, Mencino, Silly Cobra, who'll get Reverse Hollow, and well, hey, we got Gene Simmons himself, the rare and obsequent holographic rare, and you know what, it may not be the most special card between Sword Shield Base and then also being in Champion's Path, and well, hey, it's still a hit, so guys, We'll do a recap here in a moment. I gotta clean things up and we'll show you the pools. Alright, recap time. So, Steam Siege didn't do too bad. One reverse hall rare, Koba Lion. And I'm just gonna go by rarity, doesn't matter what set. As up next, Dreadnought reverse hall rare, the only reverse hall rare I pulled for Sword Shield Base. Then, Sword Shield provide the only two hall graphics, Obstagoon, which is not bad. I mean, it's alright, hard to pull. And then, a Rangaroo, hey, I'll take it. Pretty nice card. Now, Sword Shield basically won this pack battle, but Professor's Research, not a bad card. Not the card I want to pull. I was really hoping it was going to be Marnie. But you know what? Still a nice card for what it is. And, well, Steam Siege, hey, at least Steam Siege started strong with the Mega Guard War EX. And really, for me, this is the pull of the video. Because I don't have this card. That means I'm closer to getting the full art secret rare of it and I still need the Gardevoir EX and there's still various other cards from Steam Siege I still have yet to pull and hey I'm going with packs of cards I know I could go buy the packs up the cards online if I wanted to but I'm like you know what I like doing these videos to show you guys what I get but yeah I hope you all enjoyed the video you know the drill like comment subscribe for more follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also discord link in the description join me show me your pools see what videos I'm gonna be posting whenever I do post them and yeah, let's just have a good time talking all things Pokemon. Thanks for watching, rock on, keep collecting, and stay safe. <laughs>